I'm dirty. Oh, I'm dirty too. <laughs> You've been working hard too. Makes you feel good when you get dirt on you. Makes you feel like you've done something, don't it? I think it builds up your immune system too. Reckon? That's why I always told our kids go outside and eat some dirt. <laughs> eat dirt, play dirt. <laughs> No. Go out and eat some dirt. They were always outside, that's for sure. They were never hardly ever sick. That's a fact. I didn't hardly ever have them at the doctor. Gotta burn your goozle. Boy, it's hot. Is it hot? I told you it would be. It's hot. Don't do it. Well, I, can, I can't stand it. I need a bite. It's good, but it's hot. Fresh out of the pot. It's hot. I like that hominy in there, though. I do, too. We don't eat a lot of hominy anymore, but that's something I remember from Texas. We always ate a lot of hominy. Well, I never have been a real big hominy fan, but I like it in stuff like this or in some goulash or something. Yeah. I love hominy. And uh, cousin Nancy down in Texas, she has got this recipe for Hominy casserole, I absolutely love. I need to make it sometime. You either like hominy or you don't. I don't think there's any in between there. And I just really have always liked it. Why don't you look at the steam coming off? <laughs> Let it cool off a little bit. I Man, told you. Hot. When I rung that bell, and I didn't ring it very good, did I? Well, <laughs> you kind of had a hold of it. <laughs> it's supposed to ring, it's supposed to get a hold of the end of it. There you go. That br that brings back memories. We got three different sizes of those. Well, those, did you say they were, the little ones you called goat bells? Well, the one extra, we got a small, it's a small cowbell, that one. And then there's a big one, bigger than that one. I ended up with the goat bells. Yes, she's got goats. So I told her to take those. <clears throat> Miss Vicky took the goat bells and we got the cowbells and we don't have no cows, but. <laughs> Not no more. And I was aiming to show my grandkids on Thanksgiving. I forgot to do it. They Maybe. probably ain't never even heard of cowbell. Probably not. Not the grandkids. This burned my leg. But I'm, I'm... something that cowbell is something you heard all over the country in the day. Especially on a milk cow. You knew where she well, was. Well, they had one. You know, they, we all yeah, we had one, like one milk cow. You could hear where she was at. You could hear where the whole herd was because she'd run a lot of times with the herd out in the pasture. Unless onions was coming up in the spring wild and we wouldn't let her run out there because your milk tastes like onions. That <laughs> bad. But, uh, I mean, I love onions, but I don't want milk onions. You Onion see, milk. You could be out, I'd be out hunting and early in the morning, a cold morning. You hear that cowbell a long ways. I guess it kept from getting lost. I didn't get lost too easy in the hills, but it seemed like I'd come out somewhere I know where I was. Man, I have good. been turned around a few times at night coon hunting, though. Not come out where I thought I was coming out. On cloudy night. I can see that easily done because anymore I can't see my hand from my face when it's dark. Well, when it's cloudy and you didn't have no uh, stars to go by no stars you have your big dipper and your little dipper to go by oh because it was cloudy yeah when he's out at night coon hunting 
your little dipper and your big dipper. So explain that to me. Well, I'd probably tell you wrong now because I don't remember. <laughs> We'd be in trouble if me and you got lost <laughs> in the woods anymore. I'm trying to remember. I'd have to sit here and look at it in the sky and tell you exactly which way the Little Dipper points. But I think it points to the east. I bet you our subscribers. The Big Dipper points to the south, I think. They'll, I may be wrong. They're going to tell us. If it ain't cloudy tonight, I'm going to come out and look. <laughs> they, they know we're crazy and can't remember nothing. Oh. Uh, that was only used in emergency if you was really lost. I'll never forget that time that our youngest son, Tyler, got lost with that little boy out in the woods, and but he found their way out. I mean, he was not very old, and he put that child on his back, and he come out of them woods with him. I guess he's got your sense of direction like that. He don't have his mama's because his mama's ain't no good. <laughs> no. no, it's not. In fact, it's pretty bad. I wouldn't want to turn you loose out there in the middle of the woods and say, find the house. <laughs> oh, I'd have to sit there and cry and think about it in a minute. Look at my surroundings. That's so good. It's good. And you know how much we ate yesterday? But, yeah, but this good old pot of cowboy chili here. I want you to look at my glove. You got a hole in one finger. I'm in a good pair of leather gloves, but I'm getting them wore down. I think it's time for Santa Claus to bring you a new pair. Danny's been working on though. For Christmas and my birthday for about... 20 years. Tw no, at least five <laughs> years. I'm getting a uh, an eight by twelve greenhouse, Amish built. Yeah. Greenhouse, and I'm really excited, y'all. Even though we have the the little high tunnel, uh, I'll be able to start my seeds and stuff out here in the winter time. I'll be able to keep my you know grow lettuce and stuff out there. Even though I can do it out here, the high tunnel. It's a lot, a lot of upkeep, and during the wintertime, I like to just get it cleaned up. I like to amend the, the soil and just put it to bed. And what happened this time, though? What? A mouse, a squirrel, a rat. I want y'all to know. And this little house, this little greenhouse you're getting, they're not going to be able to do No, that. and uh, I had all of that lettuce and Swiss chard, and uh, I had some dinosaur kale out there planted. And uh, I was given a bunch of beautiful uh, dill, and it's okay, but let me tell you something. That rat got in there and ate it down. Rat or a mouse or something. And it just makes you sick to your stomach after you spend that much time doing all that to feed yourself, and you go out there and a rat's done ate on it. And Mr. Brown's caught two or three here lately in a live trap. Four. Four, okay. <laughs> I started getting up there on my tractor and stuff again y'all i don't we don't have a a big old barn around here but i tell you we've got some very good sized rats around here or well, they're pack rats we're not the old barn rat he brought one up to me and showed me <laughs> what'd you say oh that's so cute i did he had big old eyes i said oh he's so cute but let me tell you something <laughs> they're not so cute when they eat all your greens they're not cute when they eat injector wire off on your no. car, neither. So we're constantly fighting the rats this time of year. So this little greenhouse, I'll be able to to grow quite a bit in the winter. The, let's see, where's it coming out of? I believe it's Mansfield, Arkansas. South of <clears throat> Fort Smith. And, uh, Over on, you know, on the Oklahoma border, nearly 300 miles. Compared. Yeah, and they were just really kind. I mean, really nice people because we weren't for sure about, you know, traveling that far to bring it to us and deliver, and it just was not bad at all. Well, the first 250 miles was free. So 
you know, I thought that was pretty well, good. it's not free. They figure that in. But. Well, yeah. But anyways. And I was going to build her one. <laughs> I said, I'll just build you one like that. She said, you ain't got time. You ain't got time, old man. No, he don't, y'all. He does not have time. <laughs> I'm telling y'all. He <laughs> said, you don't have time. <laughs> no. I know better than It made me happy, though, but I didn't want to... I didn't. We'll spend all winter out there in the cold trying to build it. Well, I'm telling y'all right now, Mr. Brown don't have the back, the shoulder, or the neck to be out there doing that stuff. So I had to take care of him. I had to watch him. I mean, the worst he can do right now is, he, of course, his bus mechanic and kills him, but cutting wood and hollering and stuff, you know. So I had to watch him. He done something the other day, and I just wanted to whip him. Because I know it's not good on his neck and his back, but I know how men are. They just ain't going to give up. But anyways, that's what he's been doing today. I had to cut a tree down. Sawed that up for wood. Got rid of the brush. And I've been building a pad out there to put the greenhouse on, trying to level up the pad. I pretty well got it done. I just got to put some something around the edges of it to keep the gravel from falling off the edges of it. I got this mic one up here at my mouth, and I know they get tired of hearing me <laughs> eat. You smacking? Well, it's smacking good, that's for sure. And I do like that hominy in there. I'm glad you got that tea. I need a drink. But yeah, he got the pad. I guess you're still working on it a little bit, aren't you? I'm done for the day. I'm done all I can do till we get something up there. I guess tomorrow we'll go up into Missouri. It's not too far from us. Missouri up in there. And get us some uh, ties. I guess we'll get real old ties. I don't know. Let do something put around that chat. Keep it. I've used all I've got around here already. Yeah, we have used, we use everything we've got till we just run out and don't have no more. Now I'm dropping chili on my bibs. As long as you drop it in your pocket, I'll find it later. Probably on my beard, ain't it? You want some more? I will. Um, I was thinking, since we're going that way, you could take me to Fred's Fish House and we'll get some walleye. Sounds good. I mean, it's not like I'm hungry or nothing right now, but tomorrow I will be. The fish sounds good. After eating all that turkey and ham and dressing. Well, this chili's good. Everything tastes better when you cook it outside. I don't care. I threw some of that bacon we ate for breakfast in there. This is gonna be one of the last, one of the last prettier days we're gonna have. You don't know whether it got 60 degrees today or not. It was partly cloudy, but it's been nice. A little breezy, but nice. Yeah, we ain't had much wind here just this afternoon, have we? Not here lately. Cause my fire over here done real good, I think. Couple times. <laughs> A couple of times I thought I was going to scald myself, but <laughs> uh, I've done pretty good. That Dutch oven got scalding hot. I had to move it up quite a bit. I threw that bacon grease in there and them onions, and they just they started deep frying. <laughs> it was so hot, so I had to move it up. You don't realize the heat. Don't take much, does it? You know how it rises and that stuff gets hot. But anyways, my greenhouse it's not gonna be here till what, about January? Um Probably the end of January. The the man told us, you know, he was gonna you know, if we wanted to wait for it, yes. And of course I told him yes, I'm I'm okay, I'm gonna wait on it. Because I don't know how it is anywhere else, but here in Arkansas, 
in our area to get anything built, any, hurry up and wait. anything done, you're going to be waiting two to three, six months. But I'm wanting to get that pad done so it'll have time to settle down and get right. And it's just going to, it's just gravel pad. It's not a concrete pad, but. And on the side of this hill, you don't go eight, ten foot across. It takes a foot and a half of gravel on one side just to get it level. <laughs> there ain't a level spot on Everything this Everything on this hill just slopes to the holler. Slopes to the pond. And our pond's not holding water. Sadly, right now, but hopefully it will. We've not had a ton of rain. Well, we had, we had, we had people seen that we had five foot of water. Here. Yes. And it, how went, long? It went down about 10 days. Mm hmm. But I noticed here the other night when we got this rain, it didn't put a whole lot in there, but it's still there. So do you think it's slowly just going to do like other ponds and just. I have no idea. I hope it does. Seal itself? If it don't, we're going to try to seal it. <laughs> we're going to go back in the hog business. Anyways, the chili turned out wonderful. Wish y'all were here to sit down and eat some with us. We had a really good day yesterday. We had a, a small Thanksgiving. I say that. It was with my kids and grandkids. We usually have maybe a couple in-laws and a friend or two, you know, over to eat with us. But this year, it just everybody just kind of stayed home. Of course, we're around our kids and grandkids all the time. So this wasn't something new for us. Everybody's well right now. So we're all around the COVID pretty bad. I mean, it's everywhere. It's everywhere. It's in the school system. It's out. In the, it's in your county. It's just it's everywhere you go. So we're just being really careful. Um, careful as we can. Mm -hmm. And still live. So anyways, the chili turned out good. And we're going to get back to work. Probably see you in a couple of days. And I, I'm hoping to start my cookies, my Christmas cookies and candy and stuff here coming next week, hopefully. I've got everything to get going on it. Thought I need some more sweets. <laughs> you know, I made too much sweets yesterday, that's for sure. Everybody said, Mama, you made way too many desserts. But I just got to go and I couldn't quit. I thought, I want one of these, I want some of that, and I want some of that. And I thought, well, the kids are really... I should have stopped on the pumpkin bars and the banana pudding. Apple but pie. but no, I had to make chocolate an apple pie, pie chocolate pie, <laughs> and a blueberry cheesecake. And that tea, that's good. Yeah. I, I haven't had that, one in a while. I ate some of that chocolate and ate some of the banana pudding. And last night for supper, I had apple pie. Apple pie. I might have apple pie tonight, too. <laughs> Anyways, I hope y'all like this video. We always love spending time with y'all. And when we get busy on a day like this and we can't just, you know, set up and make a video, we just bring y'all with us. Just everyday life. So I hope y'all like this video. Y'all come back and see us in a couple of days because we'll be doing something. Yeah, we're going to be going back to work, too. <laughs> we're always doing something here on the homestead. Oh, it's going to get cold. That's what I was going to say a while ago. We got nice, <clears throat> decent weather. We've had a good November. We've had a pretty fall. And uh, next week, down in the tw low 20s and possibly teens here, and the highs are going to be probably in the upper 30s. We'll have that wood cook stove cranking. Yeah, it'll be uh, running us out of the house probably. Won't <laughs> we'll have it cranking and the doors open. But uh, there's rumors of snow toward the end of next week. Yay! There's rumors of snow. I and hope so. One of the little deals shows eight and a half inches. I, I thought, man. We've not had a good snow in several years, y'all, and I'm ready. I mean... I know some of y'all has already had it and probably maybe tired of it, but that's send a it here. ways off, and that's not a forecast. It's just a kind of a guess weather map thing, but it's not really been forecasted to have that much snow. But. Well, don't get my hopes up. 
Okay. Maybe we'll get a big snow before winter's over. There you go. There's the forecast <laughs> <laughs> and a recipe. Anyways, we'll see you guys. We love y'all and God bless. God bless everybody.